I'm coming, I'm coming. It's almost the end of the year. It's almost the end of the year. Oh, those nails almost took my eye. Hey, what's hey. going on? Who are you? I'm the Jake Ball. You got a little poof sticking out right there. You got a little poof. <laughs> you got a little poof. Well, this time my zipper there is. There you go. That's my better. zipper's closed this time. Oh, well, that's good. You know. Honestly. Who are you? Now, who are you again? You didn't tell me who you are. I said it. I'm the Jake Ball. Oh, who am I? Uh, 20 years of uh, being engaged. 20 years of being engaged. I know. It just took forever. I still didn't put a ring on it. I don't... Oh, okay. Something you just else. don't have one. I do too. All right. So who are you? I'm Pack Out Princess. And we, we've changed things. We are yeah. directly in front of me. What you guys you are back a little farther. Yeah, you guys like it? Like it? I want you thumbs at the down, end. Thumbs down. Yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, the shop is clean. It is clean. Ask or is it clean? It's, it's clean. Is it clean enough for a non-OCD person? Yes. Do you think it's clean enough for an OCD person? Depends on who the OCD person is. Oh, okay, good point. You probably not. I think it's mostly clean. I've got a chainsaw project that's hidden behind the camera with this new setup but the whole goal has always been able to have enough room for that yep. camera to be there and so that, i think we succeeded and yeah and hey it's not the worst backdrop either no so i got a hottie next to me and i got a hottie behind oh. me oh. which one's your number one hottie well i always say pack out princess so. oh, okay true 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 so it, is it i don't know but so, okay so what are we doing today we got some new stuff okay we got some new stuff so what i got is the uh, Milwaukee finally, right, came out with their own 3D printed bins. Oh, they jumped on the bandwagon finally, huh? Apparently, there's been some good ideas out there and they want to follow it. Huh. Hmm. Uh, they did do this before Flex released their stuff, so hey, that's a good one, right? <laughs> uh, and we've got some of our 3D printed bins. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not the only one that makes it. Uh, honestly, if you hop on thingiverse.com and you type in Packout, you will see tons of different options of 3D printed bins. But what's the what's the biggest flaw of the 3D printed bins? Mm. And it also affects the foam that's in that pack. Well, you leave it in the sun and melty, melty, yep. this, squishy, squishy. This lid acts as a magnifying glass. If you've seen some of the Dan Rather or Geraldo Rivera reports of building apartment complexes that have crazy uh, sky rises next to it, the lights create yeah, whatever refractions, reflections. Stuff melts. This one's got foam in it. This one's got 3D printed bins in it. And if you leave it directly in the sun, this thing gets over 200 degrees, which is when these things start to melt. I, being that I don't use any of my tools, nope. they never see the sun, so they never melt, which nope. is completely not true. Uh, we 3D printed a bunch of stuff in PLA yep. at the beginning. Those ones really melt. And if you guys ever see the video I did with VCG, uh, Ohio Power Tool, uh, we had it sitting in the sun. I closed the lids, had it on the top of the stack out, walked away from it, sat there all day and came back to sad looking stuff. They were like, um, you know, the, the blow up thing that's at the car dealerships yeah. when you deflate them, oh. that's sort of what they look like. I'll slump over. Or like I can't Dolly Parton, you know, a little deflated. Uh, you know. Or my yeah. ego, uh, yeah. whatever. But since then we've learned, we've told the community uh, of people who buy stuff, and our, uh, we ourselves print in PETG, which is a higher temperature. But if you just put one more pack out on top of this that's not clear or that doesn't have stuff, uh, they've survived. Ours have survived. We, yeah. We're in Florida. in Florida. I have a pack out in the bed of my truck that sits in the bed of the truck all the time. So it's not in direct sunlight, yeah. but the bed does get warm. Nothing's melted. It's the uh, 3D printed bins from us and some of the 3D printed stuff from 3D Technologies. So no problem. So you still can obviously have the 3D printed bins. The nice thing about 3D printed bins is there's a lot of options, but Milwaukee is doing the options, so let's go ahead and get yep. into it. It's a 10 minute intro. Okay. All right, so we're gonna show you the two different ones, which are the 4822-8063. I wrote it upside down, which is the rectangle, and I'll show you what they're divided like, and the 8062-6362. Okay, so I'm gonna use Milwaukee scissors to open it. There are a couple, I don't want to say hidden features, but some features on these that Milwaukee doesn't point out unless you read the fine print. That's different. Oh, so they could stack it. Okay. So in the 6-3, which are these guys? There's our dividers. So on the bottom, it's six, or sorry, four. And on the top, it's a long one, so that might be good for some long bits. 
and it can nest down inside. Pretty simple. On the bottom ones, it's divided. And you know, the nice thing is, and we're gonna get a couple closer shots of these, uh, is that they went ahead and put the space for the dividers to go in it. And then there's a nesting tray to go in it. Now hidden feature on the back, you can see there is a lip that is a little bit bigger. And I can show you in a minute what that does. So generally speaking, you're getting a two-way on the top, who doesn't mind that, and a four-way on the bottom. Sounds or like a party. Or it could be a... A three-way. Or a two-way. A two-way. Or a one-way. And yeah, having these opens up the possibility of some more 3D printed stuff. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and show them close. Okay. Okay, so here is the rectangle with its top bin, two-way. It definitely seems flimsy, but this is printed out of a better thermal plastic, right? It's probably like ABS or something like that. Uh, you can see here it says pack out on it. Nothing special about this one. Here's the bottom one. It comes with these three dividers and it would give you four compartments. And as I said, it's nice that they included these because uh, now we could 3D print some adapters for that. It goes on there and here is the back lip. All right, so now onto the square bins, you can see, if you put this in properly, there's dividers, so we could put a plus in the bottom to make the bottom a four-way 3D print that, and then there is the top bin, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and show you this sort of in comparison. So here is one of the 3D printed bottom inserts, which you can see this bin does not have all the little dividers molded into it. So that insert drops down and gives us four ways that way. This insert drops down, this rests on these lips, okay? Milwaukee is using the lips as well, and it's probably resting on that a little bit. But generally speaking, I could drop this guy in here and use that, or I could use my 3D printed one. And honestly, the 3D printed ones are just, you know, as good, if not better, in the standpoint of you've got the ability to have more configurations. So here I'll take my dies out and I will put one of the Milwaukee ones in. It fits just as fine, but then here's some of the 3D printed ones we did, which Milwaukee's bin, you're only gonna have two options on the bottom and two options on the top. And then our bin, and I did say Milwaukee's printed, but you know, it's not printed, injection molded. So we have four on the bottom, four on the top. So, Pretty simple, pretty straight to the point. Milwaukee stuff obviously gives you a few options and you don't have to go to the 3D printed community. Okay, and we're back. So you can see more options. All Milwaukee needs to do is start mass producing these individually. Uh, these, I've had a couple people ask me, so I'm gonna try it. Do these fit these? The answer is yes. So they could sell just this. Mm -hmm. Now there are not the little molded dividers on this that this has. Uh, I think that's, I, I don't know what they were thinking when they did that, because for the uh, squares, for the low profile, they already had these little nut ribs in them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, honestly, if they just weren't thinking ahead or maybe they just were doing like the Disney or the George Lucas method, which is just why release a movie once, the final version, when you can release 400 versions of it and get money all along the way. But with the 3D printed, or this, you could cut this to be like a 3D printed, or we could 3D print a divider that goes in. I wonder, oh, no. Okay, so since this has all these extra nubs, we're not gonna be able to put any of the 3D printed in these bins, which means if somebody orders these, for these, we're gonna tell you they're not gonna work. But it is nice because it's a stock one. And while we like our own products, we do recognize that some people don't wanna put their pack outs out of the sun and they might have a problem. So why don't we also show you how this hangs on the wall grid. Okay. All right, we're over at the wall grid. And as you see, I've got the bin. These bins hang directly on the walls. The stock Milwaukee bins did have a lip, but they adjusted these a little bit. As you can see, this has a wide 
opening here, and that's so that it can fit with this bridge, okay? And then the individual bins as well can fit. So if you want to just have hardware on your walls and you don't want to use something like this, and you want to be able to take this off the wall, have your insert, load it right into your pack out, bring it right back to your wall, say you use that a lot. Okay, I'll give them that. It's a good option. It is a stock Milwaukee product. We know durability wise, the stock bins have held up. So I like it, it's cool. Uh, it's a simple addition, so why not? So let's go back and do our final thoughts. Okay, we're back. And we're back. Who do you think makes the better product? Oh, uh, stuff. <laughs> uh, stuff. <laughs> stuff can melt. Uh, I mean, yes. I think that they took what the 3D, to, um, 3D um, printing, community. printing community had and sort of went off of that and made it probably a little bit better because, you know, theirs has the, the hooks in the back and it works with their other stuff, but I don't know. So I like supporting small businesses too. Right, so. well, and the stock bins had this and they improved it. Yeah. And our stuff works in the stock yeah. bins, but now our stuff doesn't work in the stock bins. So if Milwaukee included these right. with all of the packouts going forward, anyone that has these, we're gonna have to design new stuff. Yeah, and I wonder if they'll sell these eventually alone. Because that will work in this bin. It does have an individual number on it. No, it's the, same, the same as number? it's the same. It's the sixty-three. Oh. So this works in this bin, and it would be nice if they sold these. Mm -hmm. I don't think Milwaukee is in the business of selling anything under the twenty dollars because these were all twenty bucks, right? It was twenty bucks for this. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think it was something like that. Twenty bucks for this pair. I think it was a little bit less for this one. Uh, we'll do the whole link in the description. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I've only said that once now, so check the description. And what are they supposed? What else are they supposed to do? Hit the. Hit the bell, subscribe. That's right. This Show us uh, some love. this is a Monday video, and we made it shorter than twenty five minutes. I, I think. know they they're gonna be happy on Monday when they're they're gonna be probably playing with their packouts. Hopefully that they get from their wives. Yeah, and maybe you got some of these. These are great stocking stuffers. So let us know in the Talk comments. Big stocking. Some you were like a giant. Some of us have a big set. <laughs> so let me know. Let us know in the comments what you like better. Disclaimer, we do realize if you leave this in the bright sunlight, but the Kaizen foam melts and other plastic stuff can melt. Everything. So that aside, because we know about it, and all of us that print stuff know about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a machine that melts plastic. It melted plastic. To make it. To make it. So the sun is a giant plastic melter. Yeah. But other than that, what are your thoughts? Are you able to keep these in your vans, keep them out of direct sunlight like, like we and a lot of other people, because we've sold a lot. So, and yeah. we've had a lot Let less us know return. which ones yeah. they like. Which, which ones, ones you prefer and what you're going to use them for. And uh, maybe if Santa Claus brings you some extra ones, you can. Do a giveaway? Maybe. Is that what you were saying? Maybe. Oh, and speaking of giveaway, you guys did a great job. She got a lot of emails. So, yeah. Bravo. They were listening that time. Okay. Well, they're good. We're good. Yeah. Let's pack out. Pack out. See ya. I'm going to miss her. Okay, I'm going to miss her. Bye. Bye. Don't let the door hit you.